Let's go from our flowing food and we're going to find ground. Do you remember how to come out? So one leg move at a time. We're going to stay seated. Never make the clock. Hug. One foot down. And the next foot down. Stay seated. Great. Right in sumo squat. Okay. And once we come up, pay attention to sway back. Come up. Then we're going to expand our swing. Expand our swing. Get it. Get on in. So we would normally turn the lights off when we're ready for a shavasana. You can take them off in the video. Right, bring the lights down. Bring the yoga down. So we're gonna, I'm going to talk you through the restorative sequence we did yesterday at the end of class. So I'll talk you through um, how we get somebody into Shavasana and all the variations. So we make sure that the swing is, we get a handful, so you can pull it down to your knees. First thing that we have to make sure is that it's stretched all the way to the knees. If it's on their bum, they could slide it. So we make sure it's great. And then it spreads out so we can get the head in there. Make sure it's all the way up to the top of the head. We don't want the neck hanging off. It's no bueno. So, so we're doing the last restorative pose from yesterday. So from here, you can just kind of hang out for a second. You can just hang out and just feel the swing within the body. Jim, would you just go through a couple of six or seven? Just five. Just five. Just five. Yeah. So let's enjoy our arms overhead. Notice that this is a nice variation for shoulders, so arms go up overhead, bend the elbows, bend the fingertips towards the floor, and then you can kick up into Viparita. So we're going to bring our legs into a V. We're going to push our heels into the swing, so make sure that they're hooked. Feet towards the sky, yeah, and then drop the hips. <sighs> Very nice, drop the hips. Just feel that the body will kind of hold tension kind of unnecessarily in some of these places, and we encourage it to drop. Very good. Place to drop into final relaxation. The knees are soft, but the legs are straight. And then from here, let's reach up towards the sky. Start to bend the knees towards the armpits. Bend the knees wide, and then hook the outer edges of the feet. So it's like a happy baby yoga position. Really nice. Okay. So we can tuck our chin into our chest, lean around our back. Just let the spine take on the shape of the swing. Just enjoy. A little bit of playtime here. What would it feel like to bend one knee and then straighten the opposite leg a little bit more? Let's go from side to side. Take some time to let the legs unwind. I like rolling the ankles around a lot. This is a really good position for me to do for this. Okay, five more breaths here. Position, we're going to come into a plow pose, a mini plow. Squeeze the legs together and tuck in. So you're pulling your toes down over your head. Your hips aren't going to necessarily lift. We're just extending the legs and getting a nice stretch for the nice joints. <sighs> nice deep breath into the back body. You'll feel your lower back starting to release. Easy breezy. That's our style in the swing. Nice and easy. <sighs> Here, let's try some scissors. So hold on to the left, extend the right. Okay. Hold on to the left with both hands, extend the right. Pull both legs up towards the sky, switch sides, hold on to the right, extend the left. Okay. You can also explore in the space a little bit as long as, yeah, you can always bend the knee if you have a, a buddy in front of you. And just kind of let yourself, I call it fish tail, just kind of wag the tail that left foot to explore the space a little bit, do a little bit of a deeper twist. Another way to get a twist is to take the right foot and pull it over towards the left. One twist. I, I, if I wanted to go deeper, my hand is pushing into the outer calf, and then my elbow on the right side is pushing into the swing. And you keep it twist. Okay, both legs up towards the sky, hold on to the left, Right, so just try that variation. Both just explore a little space. And then just let the twist happen. I bring the left foot over to the right. I push my elbow into the side of the swing. Beautiful. Yeah. 
the tears are like you can click your heel there, right? So if you bend the knees, you can kind of hook your heel if it's all the way to the back edge of the swing. And this is kind of a nice variation. Nice thing. Oh, that's always the most enjoyable to feel too touch. Okay, both legs up towards the sky. Bend the knees. Hug your arms around your shins and squeeze. Squeeze and bring yourself up nice big. Hug with a wave of gratitude. Loving the legs, loving the body. And through the grateful inner practice. Now from this position, we can come into butterfly wings. Since the bottom of the feet can come together. And knees are pushing into the outer edges. The swing. And then we can also hug our arms over our chest. So butterfly wings is where I usually like to drop in for shavasana. Now like I showed you yesterday, the other option is to use the leg loops to extend the legs. For somebody who's really long or just feels too crunched, so I reach for the leg loop and I kind of pop it in. So I can just reach around the back and then I kick to push the leg loop forward with my hand. So I can put the leg loops on there, whichever way you want to grab it, and then the legs can extend, which is really nice too. So whatever your favorite position is, just drop in, feel like you can immediately find the swing holding you, it's 